Hollywood, California, home of the magical talking fiction. A mecca of entertainment, Hollywood has always been known as a land of romance and a sparkling beacon for a life of glamour. Beneath the clear blue skies of the San Fernando Valley is Universal Studios, a company whose name has always been synonymous with classic talking pictures. In addition to timeless masterpieces like these, Universal is also widely known for its thrilling theme park. Yes, these elements have all combined to make Universal Studios what it is today. But what about tomorrow? If we don't keep in step with the times, things that once were neat and thrilling can become old and stupid. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on here? Ladies and gentlemen, this never happens. Look out! It's a shark! Here it comes! The shark is coming! That's right. Old and stupid. Look out! All you back there is in the back of the tram! Whoa! That is one big, scary shark. Oh, the humanity. Isn't that terrifying? To keep up with the times, one must constantly modernize. And that's true for our studio, too. But how can we improve the studio? Well, first of all, in order for the studio to prosper in the future, we need to apply modern, futuristic ideas. The first of these ideas is being artist-friendly. Say, what does that mean, artist-friendly? To find the answer, Let's start where most people get their first impression of our studio, the front gate. Hello. Oh, look, here's MCA recording star Tracy Lords. She's thinking of acting in an upcoming film here at Universal. Your papers, please. But the attitudes of the guards and the bleak, unattractive surroundings make Miss Lords feel uncomfortable and unwelcome. I feel uncomfortable and unwelcome. Of course you do. But what if our gate was more artist-friendly? We'll start with the guards. Those dark uniforms connote oppression and conformity. But new outfits with pastel colors and high pretty collars seem to say, I'm your friend, not your enemy. How about some inspiring buttons to show our optimism? And what about that security gate? Black and white lines may remind artists of police and fear, but a new gate with attractive flowers and colorful birds becomes a lovely decoration, not just a deterrent. Now with just a few more changes, and some attractive porcelain deer. Our gate is now artist friendly and ready for the future. So how do you feel now, Miss Actress? I feel welcome and relaxed from a meeting at Universal. That's splendid. Too bad the part you want will probably go to Demi Moore. What? Oh, nothing. Here, have a wine cooler. Compliments oh. of your new studio. Thanks. Now don't open that until you park. Now what else will make our studio artist friendly? Well, how about that old black tower? In the past, many meetings have taken place there, but some people find it rather unappealing. Oh, absolutely. You know, for Bowden is the word that best describes it. You know, it's like real severe, you know? I mean, just the name like Black Tower, <laughs> I never want to go there. We certainly don't want to breed fear and contempt into our guests, so let's try some different colors. How about the white tower? Or the plaid tower? That's right. Now let's just add a porcelain deer for decoration. Tell Ron Murray to be a man and say that to my face. An artist-friendly atmosphere should prevail, not only outside, but inside as well. A neat and tidy office, complemented with the proper flowers and appropriate decorative garnishes, will make artists feel at ease, and thus aid in the pitching process. That's right, Andrew Bergman. But artist-friendly is also in how we treat each other. Wait, Mike. Mr. Lobel. You forgot your profit participation check. Wow. Eight million. And have some Seagram's wine coolers. On Ooh. us. This... And here's a little pig for the kids. Oh, thanks. Thanks for choosing Universal. Neat. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. There now, Kevin Misha. Doesn't that make you feel a lot better? Why, yes. Yes, it does. Yes, we can all do our part to make the studio a more beautiful, artist-friendly place. Sweeten, enhance, beautify. Sweeten, enhance, beautify. Sweeten, enhance, Looks like James beautify. Cameron's got the idea. 
Say, Sean Cassidy. Who, me? How do you like those complimentary wine coolers? I'm blitzed on this stuff, right? Sweet, enhance, beautify. Gosh, with all the wonderful improvements going on around here, everyone is going to want to work at Universal. <laughs> yes, and that brings us to our second point. Now that we're artist friendly, it's time to build our talent roster. You see, sometimes making things more beautiful doesn't make them better. They can still be old and stupid. So we've spent a lot of money and brought in some of the best artists the world has to offer. Like stunning actress Demi Moore. Yes, it's true. I did just join the Universal family. Casey, Hal, Ron. They're like fathers to me. Grandfathers, even. Besides, being with the Universal family makes me feel secure. So I have more free time to do the things I love. Like baking ham. Han, ham's on! We've also acquired director John Singleton. And action! Here's John on the set of his new movie, Shut Your Honky Ass Mouth, Cracker Boy. And cut! I am happy to be part of the new MCA Universal family, where I plan to make a lot of money. Can I get my wine cooler now? Certainly. Seagrams, golden wine cooler, Seagrams. Mm. Yes, and we've also just bought the Zucco Brothers. We're really happy with the way we've been treated so far at Universal. Yeah, they're so much different from all the other studios we've been at. Yes, but we don't want you thinking about other studios. In fact, we want you to forget there even are other studios. Forget. 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 Good. Good. Forget. That's right. Forget. Forget. But our new acquisitions are not only in the film world, we're also going multimedia. Say, what does that mean, multimedia? Well, for the answer to that question, let's go to New York City. Universal is steadily making its presence known in the Big Apple. Here at Universal Records, new bands and recording artists are signed every day. Here's the drummer from the hot new band Goldfinger. Say, young whippersnapper, how would you like to be a part of the Universal MCA Corporation? Fuck you! Corporation bullshit, corporate whore, fuck. Ooh, that teen ink sells a lot of records for Universal. Give that man a wine cooler. <laughs> what is this shit? Fuck you! We also have MCA records with rap stars like Heavy D. Golly, it sure is nifty to be a part of the Universal family. I mean, jeepers. Everybody here is just swell. <laughs> Golly willikers. How could I ever go anywhere else? Uh, I mean this. And now it's on to Nashville, where we've signed some of country's hottest performers, like Marty Stewart. I don't know how things could be any better here at Universal. They take such good care of us artists. Well, like, for instance, when my album went gold, I got this beautiful deer in the mail. But we don't stop there. Multimedia includes books, too. That's why Universal owns Putnam Berkeley, with best-selling authors like Robin Cook. Say, Robin, how does it feel to be with Universal? I love it. It's uh, probably the best thing that's happened to me. Here, have you seen my newest book? Pre-written in screenplay format. Saves a lot of time. Now my book can go directly to the movies, which is a real plus, because those executives who can't read can go see the cute little talking picture. Yes, Universal is busy making acquisitions all over the country in order to become a worldwide multimedia conglomerate of entertainment. Just ask Sylvester Stallone. Universal sure is buying a lot of stuff. Say, isn't that producer Barry Kemp? But say, what about the future? We can't just keep relying on existing talent. We have to be open to new talent. That's right, Barry Kemp. And ironically, that brings us to our final point. The last key to a modern studio is having an open-door policy. Say, what does that mean? 
open door policy. It means anyone can share their ideas. This keeps our studio from becoming old and stupid. But where do we find new talent? You might be surprised at the answer. This is Pepe. Pepe has a great idea for a blockbuster hit movie involving two women and a lost dwarf. I'm just a janitor. Nobody wants to hear my ideas. Don't worry, Pepe. You work for Universal Studios, and here they welcome all ideas. And the two women and the dwarf live happily ever after. How do you like my idea, Mr. Executive? Write it all out, and I'm going to submit it to my development people right away, OK? Wow, really? Thank you. Oh, and uh, uh, Pepe, would you empty the trash for me, please? That's a good janitor, thank you. Sometimes crew members on film shoots are a source for ideas. I've been in this business for a long time, and I've always lived by one simple philosophy. Be nice to the little people. Good morning, guys. I brought pastries. Uh, because down the road of life, you simply never know who your boss is going to be. From the lowliest PA oh, to Pardon the... me, ma'am. Do you have anything else besides jelly? You'll eat what I give you to eat and be glad to have it. Uh, for instance, when I made clam bake with Elvis, uh, there was... Yes, an open-door policy allows us to find the newest, freshest ideas. Isn't that right, Mr. Stallone? You know, it's good to be open to new talent, because that way you're more open to new talent and stuff. So let's review our three modernizing techniques. One, being artist-friendly. Two, building that talent roster. And three, never say no to a sailor. Say, what does that mean? Never say no to a sailor. Yes, it's a whole new universal here. Mm. And because of all the great changes being made here, Ron and I have decided to stay. We're both making ourselves completely available and accessible for all the studio-related functions. Ron says things are great, and he's fine. So now we're just one big happy family of movies, books, music, television, and liquor. People, people who need people. <coughs> yes, from all around the country, artists are starting to call Universal City Studios home. Universal City Studios, Ux. And with all of our new changes, no wonder everyone is saying, it sucks for me. It sucks for me. And how about you, Alan Hughes? Hey, it sucks for me too. Yes, and it sucks for him, and it sucks for her, and it sucks for all of us. Gee, I had no idea Universal was making so many changes and stuff. By constantly changing, updating, and improving, we will never fall into the trap of becoming, uh, you know. It's the dawning of a new day, and with our new regime, we're becoming the most modern studio we can be. Thank you. Okay, look, you're gonna tell them I don't talk that way, right? I mean, this whole thing's been a gag to put on. I put the Rocky thing behind me, it's a character. You're gonna work on that, right? You're gonna tell them, I can... Sure, Brainiac. Here, have a wine cooler. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. See, that's a character thing. It's something I work on. Fucking cheap studio. Thank you. Goodbye. David Zucker was someone who, from very early on, was really supportive of our short films from college, actually. And, and I, we were big fans of, you know, uh, Airplane and Naked Gun stuff. And so um, he. Uh, they had some deal where Universal wanted to make some interdepartmental. Uh, well, because a new regime came in. Yeah, right. the new people bought. You know, we're going to run you know, like Universal. Yeah. 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 So they're like, we want to make a thing, and you know, and they hired Zucker's to do it. But David was like, I don't. Do it. He's like, you do it. And so we went and made this black and white <laughs> '50s style thing, and we had all these celebrities. We had Spielberg, we had Stallone, we had like <laughs> huge and Demi Moore, and just like and. But it was like there was no script, and he told me David was like, oh, the script is really funny. Don't worry about it. So we show up to Universal. Studios, we got our little crew, our little college crew, and it was like, okay, there's Steven Spielberg, and there's Mr. Stallone, and you know, you've got about 30 minutes, you know, and we're like, okay, well, where's the script? And like, there's no script. Are you gonna have them be inside or outside? Yeah. We're like, like, just make it really funny. Yeah. Literally. It was the most, it was the most what? nightmarish, it was the most it nightmarish really, experience. Yeah, it was so. so what happened is Trey got hired as a director on it, and before I, I wasn't involved with it, and uh, two days before the shoot was supposed to happen, 
called me up. He's like, you got to come help me on this. It's so <laughs> I was like, get me out of here. You don't have his crib. So but, uh, he's whispering because he's in the office. So f man. <laughs> <laughs> but it ended up being actually really funny. Yeah, but the yeah. Universal's been very, they've tried to bury it because it's got all these huge names and they've never got release forms or anything, <laughs> but, you know, so. It's on the internet too, I'm it's sure. It's on the internet. <laughs> <laughs>